Hey, you're watching Good Creative Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Illustrator to create a similar logo to the Disney Mouse logo. So it looks something like this. So go ahead and go to File New in Adobe Illustrator. Click OK. And I'm actually going to view and I'm going to hide the artboard so you don't see that so we can just work on a uh, artboard right here without seeing the borders. What you want to do is create a perfect circle first. If you see the uh, the Disney Mouse logo, the the ears are a little bit oval, but the center part for the face is actually a circle. So uh, go ahead and click and hold on the rectangle tool. That'll bring out the ellipse tool, and click and drag and hold Shift to maintain circle proportion. Let's have some like this. Make the border a little bit larger. So click stroke there and you can set it. Um, I'm just going to make it 8 so you can see a little bit better. Alright, now we need to create uh, the area for the eyes. So if I click and drag with the ellipse tool again, a perfect circle is not going to really work. I mean you could if you want to make one a little bit different, but I'm going to distort it just slightly so it's a slight oval like so. And then choose the black arrow, the selection tool, and hover over the corner here so it turns into that double-sided arrow. And I'm going to just rotate it ever so slightly something like that. It needs to overlap just a little bit because if it doesn't overlap too much you won't have enough area right there so um, I think that looks about right and what we need to do is just uh, reflect that. So we can do with that selected go to object transform transform each and just make sure reflect X is selected you don't have to move it, but you can if you want. It's just going to move it over a little bit so you can grab it. And make sure you click Copy, not OK. So if you click Copy, it will make a copy of it. Click and drag it. Now, you can make it so it's not level there, right? So while you're clicking and dragging, hold Shift. And that maintains a 45 or 90 degree angle when you're moving. So I'm going to bring it slightly out here. Alright, and that's a little bit, needs to go a little bit farther. What you can do is go to View and then Rulers, Show Rulers, and click and drag from the edge here and just kind of see where these intersect and you can match it. So this needs to come back a little bit over. Drag it down here to the bottom here. Okay. What you need to do, the last step, let me move this guide out of the way. Click and drag around it, and then go to Window, then Pathfinder. Bring the Pathfinder palette out here. And just click that top left option, the Shape Mode for Unite. And then you have a simple Disney Mouse logo. You can click it and change the fill, you know, different colors or whatever. But that's pretty much it. The Pathfinder. Uh, palette with that shape mode it unites those three shapes so now it's its own shape and you can alt click and drag it or option click and drag it on the Mac to duplicate it to make other copies of it you can convert it into a symbol if you wanted but there you go uh, short simple technique uh, creating a Disney mouse logo thanks